So you know when you're watching a show and you're just screaming at the screen? How are you not seeing this? That's me every time Hank missed a clue about Walter White in Breaking Bad. Let's talk about all the clues that Hank missed. Breaking Bad is a show about a man who got cancer and then decided to provide for his family before he dies. But this ends up becoming something else. He ends up becoming the biggest drug lord to ever drug lord in the history of drug lords on TV. Hank is his brother-in-law. Hank is a whole DA agent who has a brother-in-law actively in the meth cooking business. But this guy is busy cracking drugs and focused on all the wrong things and missing all the clues to nail his brother-in-law. Chick's got an ass like an onion. Makes me want to cry. Hey, please, senor sente. Hey, no de, hey, please, eh? <laughs> Hi, by the way, it's Susan here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, how's it going? Hank's brother-in-law was a brilliant chemist. He was literally the only person that Hank knew could cook up something as pure as blue meth. And it just never clicked for Hank. I mean, it's understandable. It was his brother who would think their brother is a drug lord. Especially not the biggest drug lord to ever drug lord in the history of drug lords on TV. <laughs> but that doesn't change the fact that if Hank underestimated no one, including his brother, he might have caught him earlier. But let's go on to clue number two. This was the missing lab equipment. It suddenly got missing from the school that Walt worked and it was found in an Indian meth lab four miles away. We both see a pattern, right? Your brother in law is a chemist. You found a lab equipment that is practically in his care in a meth lab. Isn't that just a little bit suspicious? So clue number three. Well, maybe this one isn't exactly a full on clue, to be honest. I'm, I'm not gonna call it a full clue, but probably just suspicious action and behavior. And this is when Hank discovers that Walt has a burner phone that is hiding from his wife. I mean, you should be a bit suspicious about this, especially coming from someone that's supposed to be a chemist, an academic. They shouldn't have time for a burner phone, right? I guess Hank should have been suspicious about this, right? But not probably not enough to think that he's a drug lord, especially not the biggest drug lord. So ever. okay, I'm going to stop now. The next clue is the, and I think this should have been the biggest clue. Walt was working two jobs. He was barely paying the bills and suddenly he's loaded. He's paying for his cancer treatment. He's even covering Hank's medical bills. Walt is like, um, this is money I'm making from gambling. And he just eats up that lie. Look, I'm going to say this again. This could have been easily explained away to someone else. But to an agent whose job is literally to fish out stuff like this. No, no. Come on. On to the next clue. This was when Hank was straight up doing too much and just being jealous of Gil, who was now dead at this point. So Gil was that other chemist that was cooking with Walt, but got killed by Jesse. And this was Walt's plan anyway. Walt asked Jesse to kill Gil. So this was all Walt. And he got killed because Walt saw that he was intelligent and he could easily get replaced by this guy. Now, Hank got hold of the notebook that had all of their recipes, the the drug recipe by the way, and the special Heisenberg formula, which was producing the blue meth that was that Walt was popularly known for. Now Hank is here talking about how brilliant Gail is at the dinner table that he thinks This guy Gail Bedecker, he was uh he was eccentric. I mean uh he was a meth chef. <laughs> I mean we're talking five stars, candles and white tablecloth. <laughs> he was a genius. Plain and simple. And obviously, Walt can't just let this moment go. Yes, it's his work and all, but he can't bear a dead man taking his accolades. And so he tells Hank, well, what I saw, on, and this is just my humble opinion, from what I saw on those papers, genius? Not so much. Looks like nothing more than just simple rope copying. And his wife knows what is going on, so she's like side eyeing him, like, why can't this man just let this go at this point? It's like, what are you doing? Are you trying to put us in trouble? But I would say that I'm going to give Hank this because Hank notices something is weird at this point. If you notice at the dinner table when he did this, he like side eyed him a little bit, like, Yo, what's going on? Why are you so invested in this? Why do you feel so hurt by this? Because the way he spoke is only a hurt person or a jealous or envious person that would speak like this. So I'm going to give Hank that. He didn't totally miss this one. The next clue was the car crash. Now, 
Remember that time where Walt got a hold of some information that they were cooking meth in a particular laundry, right? This is Gus's laundry. The laundry is, I think at this point was underneath the fried chicken um, restaurant. So Hank decides to go check the place out. He's in the car driving with Walt. And then Walt cannot escape this because he knows that if Hank should get into that place it's over for him right he's going to be exposed the whole business everything is going to get exposed and so what does he do as they're driving to the place just to distract and make sure that they don't get there he drives into oncoming traffic walt literally takes the car and drives into oncoming traffic and this wasn't just like a small accident that happened here the accident ended up putting hank you know, on the bed, on sick bed for months. I guess this should have been a clue because Hank was, you know, very uneasy about this trip. He was behaving really weird, right? But again, it's family. Hank would never suspect in, in a million years that his brother-in-law is a drug lord, right? So yeah, I guess we can give that to him. The next one, which was also quite weird, was when Walt was like always excited about Gus and you know wanting to get involved wanting to talk about him all those times when you know Hank will be talking about the case and bring up Gus and Walt really wanted to know everything and of course he was doing this so that Hank is not able to put the pieces together and basically lead from Gus lead to him because he was right next to Gus in how this thing was arranged if they had found out about Gus automatically they would have found out about him so he was always invested he was always coming around Hank to ask him what was going on and there was a point that Walt practically begged them not to put a tracker on Gus's car right like I mean with all of that why like you would think that something is up here no one is just that invested and I get that some people can be weird and you know have a an interesting obsession about crime even though they are ordinary people i get that but i feel like there was just enough information about walt for hank to come to a conclusion if he wasn't always underestimating him the final one which is quite funny is the heisenberg description remember that time that there was a picture there was a drawing about who heisenberg um is um yes it's badger described heisenberg as an old bald dude and yeah, we know that there are many old bald people, but this picture was a very, very, very close description of Walt. And I don't know how Hank missed this. He fits the description perfectly, right? And and Hank still doesn't put it together. Hank can't see that this is his brother-in-law in this picture. He can't see it because he can't imagine that it would ever happen. This is how Hank misses all of these clues and we can't help but shake our heads like this man was leaving was sitting was dining with heisenberg for five seasons and then figure it out until the very end right and he also died because of that information Back. you're the smartest guy i ever met and you're too stupid to see he made up his mind 10 minutes ago let me know in the comments what do you guys think do you think you would have been able to figure it out if you're in hank's shoes like if you had maybe family member that was into crime and you know living that close to you which of the clues would have sold him out what would you say i want to know in the comments i'm curious to know like do you guys feel like you're one of those really um critical people critical of people's like you know weird behaviors and actions and all that do you think you would have been able to figure out that walter white was heisenberg are we all just clueless when it comes to family it can never be it can never happen even when it's staring us right in the face like, i would really love to know in the comments thank you guys for hanging out with me on this video thank you for watching it till the end i hope you enjoyed it um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video Bye.